I'm now I'm filming a bush, but I've never seen a bush like this. It's yeah, it's very very pretty, and it's very full. But it's it's just pretty. We're on our way. I love the doors on this house right here. We're on our way to the library. We're taking books back, and um, it's overcast. It's overcast. I like these little swings on this porch. <laughs> For the grandkids. Yeah. Sure. Or their kids that just might just be their kids. I just wanted to show you that we still have ice cream trucks around here. Uh, this is what it looks like. And he does still ring his bell. And there's a kid going up, a kid on the other side buying ice cream. I just know that all subdivisions don't have that. I think that's cool. I wish I could have gotten him ringing his bell, but. <laughs> This sign over here has been there for ages and ages and they finally took it up. It really really wasn't showing much of anything yeah, anyway, but it used to be a, a grocery, a little grocery store or a little Minute Mart or whatever. And then uh, it's been everything in the world that they finally took the sign down. We have a wind up car next to us. Literally <laughs> it has a little dial on it to wind it up. That's it's cool. So <laughs> Today we went to Walmart and we found the new Pop-Tarts uh, and by the time you see this we'll have already tried them and the video will be up hopefully. Uh, we found the Orange Crush and the A&W Root Beer and you can only buy them in these huge boxes. Uh, we bought some Hostess Mini Muffins. These are the birthday cake. Two uh, Casey Masterpiece. One is the original barbecue sauce and one is hickory brown sugar. We bought uh, six. six of the Jack Link small batch bacon jerky. That's Kevin's favorite. We bought three of the Doritos mixed taco explosion. Uh, some shout, some uh, mouthwash, and some toothpaste. And this was the last box. It was battered, but I thought toothpaste is probably fine on the inside. And then at a local uh, convenience store, we bought um, two, we bought some, this is all bubble gum. This is Hubba Bubba Dr. Pepper, and then Hubba Bubba Max, and then this is Grape Crush, and then we bought some Mrs. Fields cookies. These are the um, White Fudge Brownie, and these are Mint Chocolate Chip. And then we bought some popcorn. This is Rocky Mountain popcorn. Uh, we have a white cheddar, butter, jalapeno, and just a kettle. And then we bought two of the Doritos Dynamita Chili Lemon and the Dynamita Nacho Picoso. And then we bought a lot of Laffy Taffy. We have uh, banana, banana, strawberry, cherry uh one of them's a mix like a rainbow mix blue raspberry grape yeah we bought a lot of those and then we bought two of the grippo's original pork rinds at Walmart, we bought these minis, uh, these Tasty Cake minis. We bought the Candy Top Brownies, the Peanut Butter Cupcakes. These are made with Reese's Peanut Butter, and these Swirly Cakes that are made with Hershey's Cocoa. So we'll see if they really taste like Hershey's and Reese's. And then we bought the Blue Bunny Sweet Freedom. This is the Butter Pecan. Sweet Freedom, um, it has a no sugar added, and it is half the fat. So it'll be a lot, a lot fewer calories too. We bought the super chunky cookie dough because uh, several of you have said it is wonderful. We bought some regular nutty bars because we want to compare them to the zebra uh, plus nutty bars. And then we bought some cosmic brownies because we want to compare them to the zebra brownies just to see which is better. Um, we could only find the regular brownies for a comparison. We only saw like the cosmic and the ones with nuts on top. So we decided that the Cosmic would be closer to uh, just frosted. So we'll see which is better. I needed some Ritz crackers and they were out of the um, regular boxes, believe it or not. So I bought these fresh stacks. It's a little smaller, but not that much and it's fine. And then we bought the uh, 505 Southwestern Mexi Wraps. Kevin has had these before for lunchtime review, this brand, but not these, uh, 
this uh, particular meal. This is the breakfast sausage wrap. Um, hash brown potato, egg, sausage, and cheese sauce, and a flour tortilla, tortilla. And this is the breakfast bacon wrap. It's hash brown potato, egg, bacon, and cheese sauce, and a flour tortilla. So, that's what we got for now. Well, Kevin went to the P.O. box, and honestly, I was only expecting one box, but we actually got several boxes and a bunch of, uh, uh, like flat, envelopes, flat packages. Flat packages. Uh, we got a card and letter from Mark and Heidi. Thank you very much. This is a Mother's Day card from them. And they also gave me one for Christina. So I will pass that along to her. Thank you very much. And I love the dog. And uh, I love your letter. Um, and then um, we, you wanna, this is from Laura. Laura in Los Angeles. And, um, it was in a big envelope, and I opened up the big envelope, and there was a small envelope and, and a card. So this is to Kevin from Laura in Los Angeles. That's the back. Well, I want to see where it was from. Silliness. Pigeon Point Light Station, State Historic Park. Dear, I was saying where it was from. <laughs> In California. That's cool. The last that's pretty cool. That is, I would love to visit a lighthouse. There, there are a lot of lighthouses along the uh, east coast and uh, the northeast coast, and I would love to. And, and the southeast. There's a lot. The, uh, there's a few um, at some beaches uh, that probably wouldn't be that far away from us that I would like to visit. You can read it. Oh, okay. Now, oh, okay. That sounds good. This is candied bacon mama jama, mama bacon, mama jama, mama mama, mama jama. That's ma what it is. Bacon mama jama, mama candied jama. bacon jerky. And M a m m a. I would say mama. Is it? They would say you would say jama. You would say mama jama or mama jama. Either what. It's right, Mamma Jamma. What that did you say sense. you thought? Mamma Jamma? Mamma Jamma. Mamma Jamma. That's, That's probably out. right. Um, but this, she said, basically, she said, you might have to eat this right away because it's it's fresh. It's good until June 5th, so it's okay. Okay. We'll, we'll try. Yes. Um, thank you, you very much. He and Andrew will be trying. Yeah, it looks really yes. good. I mean, those look like fresh that, that looks like fresh cooked bacon. It looks like real pieces of bacon. That I mean, well, of awesome. course it's real bacon. But those are my favorite pieces. See that one that has all that, it's just pure fat with this little streak of meat on it yes that's my favorite one mainly fat, the fat. and very little meat <laughs> i like to gnaw on the first piece and then you the it's gonna sound disgusting but you you get the longer piece in your mouth and then you segment into smaller squares and then you just chew on that little square and then chew on the next little square you gotta make it last as long as kevin possible. has problems i have problems <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Bacon that, problems. Yeah, that jerky is always a great Especially uh, bacon gift jerky. for uh, for Kevin and Andrew. All right, this is which one? What do you want to open next? Uh, this one. Sure. This is from Josh, and I don't want to say your last name in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. I've never. I'm gonna try I don't think I've ever received anything from Minnesota. Cover them. Come try it. It's right here. That's where he typed it. Right there. Mm -hmm. So Josh in Minnesota, I did not know this was coming. I don't, I don't think you contacted me. Surprise. Well, a lot of times I hear from people. That, you know, it's it's a lot for me to keep up with. Honestly, it's I hear it from people on Instagram and Twitter and uh, Facebook, and then I get messages on uh, YouTube. No. I'm so happy. I'm glad you sent these because I was going to be driving all over Lexington looking for these things. Okay. The, the thing. They're, just in case you're wondering. Yes. Yay. I'm so excited. Thank you. You yes. saved me from being miserable this weekend. Yes. That's the thing. It's Truly. Kevin. I have. Yes. I've been driving him crazy. Thank you so much. Well, I love that too. How was that dress? Yay. I'm happy. You're done. <laughs> done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. This is a bigger box. That was a great surprise because I would have never thought that. Oh, you want to open that one next? 
No, I can open it. No, no, no. That's good. This one is from um, from Susan and John in Canada, and they they just sent us a box of stuff, and now they've sent us another box of stuff. Ooh. And it was cool because they actually made a video of their own showing us around the town and um, showing us uh, their trip to the post office. They showed us in some of their stores. Um, I think they showed us in Loblaws and Dollarama. And, um, oh. which is totally cool because I love seeing inside those stores. I forgot, she had sent you the list of the stuff. Do um, I need to go get it? If you she, want to say what these are. Yeah, I'll be right back. She, she sent us, explain that. She sent us a list, where did she send it to? Um, Facebook? Uh, she sent it to my, uh, my personal email. Anyway, she sent us a list of things that she was sending us ahead of time so we'd yes. know what they were and why she thought it would be neat to try them. So she this said is that her one. printer was out of ink or something. So, so she couldn't print it out. Yeah. Those Did look like snack cakes of some kind. Okay. Move those. Two items we have here. I bet you that's these two things right here. Vashon. The Vashon cakes. Oh, I mean, I don't I've know. sent you two items that we have here. The company that makes them is the name is the same company you've tried before in other products. Vashon is pronounced Vashon. Am I pronouncing that right? Vash, yeah. Vash. Or is it Vashon? No. Vashon. You'll know how to pronounce one of the cakes, Miami, but the other one is a French word for a thousand sheets, the type of pastry. It is pronounced. Milfui. 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 Uh, best I can describe it. Each now, I'm assuming that's them. Okay. That looks like it would be. And they're they're literally they look like like a little Debbie snack cake type of thing. They're individually wrapped. I'm sure she took them out of the box because boxes, boxes take up are, a lot yeah, of space. Did she write on them? She did not write on okay. them. We'll figure them out. I that, I bet you that's it though. Storm chips. Covered bridge storm chips. Smoky sweet barbecue, sweet and salty vinegar, homestyle ketchup, and creamy dill. So this is one big bag with a, those oh, four mini bags? This sure feels like it. No, no, no. They're all loose in here. Oh. Yeah, that's just bags. I mean, it's just chips in there. She talks about storm chips. Storm chips. Storm chips. Um, I've never had these chips, but they're just recently came out due to a local celebrity. He always liked to report the weather. He is not a meteorologist and always said at the end of any upcoming storms to go get your storm chips, which were never a thing until he said it. He just called them storm chips. So it's just his. In other words, your snacks while the storm, because you're not going to be able to get out. So get your snacks. That would be like uh, that uh, weatherman that says, uh, your neck of the woods. His thing is, that's his like thing, is in your neck of the woods. What is his name? You know who I'm talking about. Anyway. Yay! Tim Horton's coffee! Yay! This is good coffee. This is strong coffee. It is a wake you up in the morning coffee. Yes, this is like, yeah, like I need to wake up. Some strong stuff here. Thank you very much. You all know I like that. Okay, these are summer savory spices. The top. Okay, summer spices. It looks like spices. you went on a rock and scraped that into a jar. <laughs> it's very green. As and I am green. Acadian, I can tell you unequivocally that this is the most important spice from our ancestry. Mmm. We use this on our turkeys for every holiday, Christmas, that. Thanksgiving, Easter, etc. We also use this in our soup, stews, and dressings slash stuffings. One of our most common stews, like soups, is a chicken free frico. The aroma is amazing, and I hope you enjoy it. I've heard that many people can't find this spice in their parts of the world and thought you would like to try it. My suggestion would be to put it on a chicken breast and bake liberally it. with a bit of garlic powder, salt, pepper, onion powder if you have it. Otherwise, just a liberal amount with pepper and salt would be fine. And bake it. Probably that's yeah. what I would think. Bake it in the oven. Right. That, that would, it we'll smells that. Really, we It like smells very sagey. Baked chicken. Yes, it smells. It reminds me of sage. sage so that is, would be good in dressing. Yeah, sage is exactly what I use in my dressing, but I've not heard of this. So that'll be cool. 
That is, that is um, Michael. That's how we drink moonshine around here. <laughs> because he drinks much. <laughs> Probably had family that made it. <laughs> uh, I had relatives that made it. Um, Nova Scotia maple syrup. Okay. Maple I had syrup. generations ago neighbor. Uh, it says uh, maple syrup and blueberry syrup. Uh, what kind of Canadian would I be if I did if I don't send you maple syrup? This maple syrup, as you will see, comes from Nova Scotia, which oh, is very close to my province. The blueberry syrup is not maple syrup. <laughs> this is just a blueberry syrup that I personally have never tried but thought you might like it too. Of course, maple syrup is best on pancakes or if you just want a simple way of trying it on Eggos. And then she gives me the price. I'll give all the prices when we actually review everything. It's a glass, so. Oh. This gives Kevin an excuse to make pancakes. I like pancakes. I do too. That I like is, uh, that's interesting. Most of the blueberry syrup, uh, blueberry pancakes we have right here is really thick. And this one's a lot That's thinner. very thin. Yeah. Very, very thin. How much thin. have you got on ice cream? I don't know. But Almost everything's good. I actually have some vanilla in there. Probably worth trying. Okay. Um, let's try like that. Oh, wow. What is and that? This. Oh, wow. She's like literally cola. drinks. Cher this is cherry cola. Canned drinks. And this is tropical punch. Okay. President's Choice drinks. I've yeah. had the tropical punch ones and my husband loves them. The sugar cane ones we've never tried. Ah. Uh, Ta -da. She put the box, she flattened them out on the side. Well, that was, that smart. was smart. So yeah. the Miamis are the little cakes and the Mini Fritas or whatever, those are the... You know why? Different. Because I will take a picture of those. That's an excellent, those. that's yeah. an excellent idea. Very smart of you. Yes, because I like to take pictures. I was pictures. wondering what those were. I like to take pictures of stuff, you know, and have them in the thumbnail so people know what yeah, the idea is about. Yeah, that's really good. It looks like uh, carnival-like. Doesn't that remind you of a carnival? It does. The stripes and stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Like that? Yeah, yeah, like a circus um, or something. Um, these must be the... Is that all that's in the box? No, there's one more. Okay, these must be the cakes that she's talking about. Yeah. She had sent me a message on Facebook telling me that we should put them, probably put them in the refrigerator. Ah, uh, okay. So we'll put them in the refrigerator yeah. until we review them. What's... It, what's okay, but let me look at these. these. Tropical punch, and these are a tropical punch can drinks. And this is cherry cola. One can is 130 calories. This is 100, 100 calories. Well, that's cool. Nobody's ever sent us a uh, can drink. Colas. Now, Heidi and Mark and Heidi sent us some drink, and it was really good. It was from Aldi. Um, and it was, yeah, it was really good. And, and we we have received other drinks too. Yeah, we have. Silke sent us yeah, some we drinks have gotten too drinks. from Germany. So we have, but not like canned like this. So that's that's pretty cool. Hey, Ooh, now this one's a little scary. I see that. That's a rimmer for your glass. It's salt. You oh, could, I thought it was a thing of cheese. You know, no, I eat no, that that's a rimmer. Couch. It's There's salt in there. And okay. what you do is you dip your glass in, in water and you dip it in there and you get salt all over your glass because... Mott's. Clamato. Clamato. It's clam tomato. Clam, a tomato clam cocktail. And you're supposed to, I think she said you're supposed to have vodka. This one's called the works because, let me see what it said. She said this one's called the works because normally you want to put... Um, uh, now, I've been reading all everything she said out loud. I had seen this though. You're supposed to put three dashes of Worcestershire sauce and three dashes of Tabasco. I love Worcestershire But since this mix says it's the works, it's already in there. So you don't have to add it. Oh, okay. It's already okay. there. Okay. The only thing it doesn't have in there is the vodka. Okay. Which, I doubt we'll use vodka. But we're probably, she said you could drink it just like it is. And you can drink a virgin version of it. We could. Or we could buy a little mini bottle. You could, I guess. If you really want the alcohol. But anyway. <laughs> Kevin's kind of scary. The Kevin's clam not bar. an alcohol person at all. Whereas me, um, I I enjoy vodka and orange juice. Haven't had it in many many years, but I liked it when I had it. So um, I'm sure they make a little mini, they do. little teeny ones. I don't know if I'll let you buy one though. She gets crazy when she drinks. Um, this um, the, the clam part <laughs> scares me a little bit. Oh, the the flavor. Yeah, but. Well, this is cool. Yeah, We've different. never had anything like this. No calories. Because it's salt. It's salt. <laughs> <It's your> salt. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. This is um, 
This is a uh, interesting, an interesting combination. Uh, you sent a little bit of everything, uh, breakfast and snacks and. Um, it has salt, spices, including garlic flavor. Salt, spices, garlic flavor. So it has it's it's this it's brown. It's like oh it's, it's not, brown. Yeah, it's I expect it to be white. That will be interesting. I'm sure it will take us both by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very, very, very okay. much. Yeah, one more. Um, I'm going to put your cakes in the refrigerator, too. I won't forget to do that. Okay. Now, this one is from a company. Uh, Lola. Lola Granola Bar. Yes. This is actually uh, from Whoa. a company. Uh, they contacted me on Facebook. Uh, I'm a liar. They contacted me on Instagram and wanted to know if I wanted to try some of their bars. I think they're a new company. Uh, does the paper say anything? Oh, no. It's just an invoice. Um, they've sent me five. It looks like five yeah. different kinds. They're thick bars, too. You have a Lola Granola Bar with Cranberries, the Ruby. Mm -hmm. You have Lola Granola with Cashews and Dates, the Ellie. The Ellie. Looks like Ellie. Mm -hmm. um, Lola Granola, I'm quit saying Lola Granola because they're all Lola Granola. With almonds and cranberries, that's called the Lola. That must be the original. The Lola. This Lola. one's with uh, Cashews and Almonds, which is the Enzo. And then all those names are very uh, unique. And then we have Blueberries and Almonds, Nathan. He's the wild card of the family. He just has a regular name. Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. Just Nathan. a regular name. Like our Nathan in England. Nathan. Compared to the other names, though, that one's the most common that one. That one's, well, and Lola, well, I, I don't know, Ruby. Well, you don't hear people named I don't hear a lot of people named Ruby or Lola, but you hear some named Nathan and, and um, Enzo and Ellie. We don't know anybody named Enzo or mm -hmm. Ellie. So mm -hmm. those um So those are cool. And they're not they're gluten free non GMO bars. They sent these to me free uh to try in a video for you all and let you know what I think of them. Of course, you all know I'm gonna be honest and sometimes, sometimes. we can be brutal with the bars. Uh, you know, so it will Well, be one good thing is none of them are peanut butter. Yeah. The peanut butter ones are the most disappointing. <laughs> yeah, they usually are. A lot of them have been. Um, but they, um, they're they also uh, supposed to have a code, and I will be contacting them for that code where if you all decide to order any, uh, you can save like 5%. So uh, by the time that video goes up, I will make sure that I have that code um, for you all. In the description. Yeah, in the description because I want you all, you know, if you decide to order them, I want you to get them. They are from Croton, C-R-O-T-O-N, Croton Falls, New York. Mm -hmm. And it's um, Lola Granola Bar. Anyway, I will let you all know more about that. And so, thank you. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate really this appreciate so it. much. I mean, it was a <coughs> huge surprise when uh, Kevin went to the P.O. box and then he called me and he said, you need to open the front door for me. <laughs> yeah, I got too much stuff to so, carry. Yeah, he said, you might even have to come out and help me carry this stuff in because uh, Susan and John's box was especially heavy. Yeah, now well, we, had, now we that know why. And me, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, anyway, thank you all very much.